on the go. Back about the hard hit that's hitting everyone hard this morning. The Buffalo Bills writing on Twitter overnight to update fans about DeMar Hamlin. The team says Hamlin suffered cardiac arrest following a hit in the game versus the Bengals. His heartbeat was restored on the field. He sedated and listed in critical condition. After the serious hit in the first quarter, the Monday night football game was postponed. A Syracuse man is in custody this morning after a 14-hour standoff with police. 44-year-old Corey Gray is charged with menacing in the second degree and criminal possession of a weapon. All day Monday, Syracuse police were in the 400 block of Short Avenue. People who lived in the area were asked to shelter in place. Police believe the suspect was armed. As of this morning, the scene is clear. Part of central New York will have a new congressman today. Brandon Williams will be sworn in from Washington as the new House representative for the 22nd District, covering the Syracuse and Utica regions. He takes over for retiring Congressman John Katko. The Republican majority will also vote on the next Speaker of the House today. Revitalizing neighborhoods across the state is becoming a priority for Governor Kathy Hochul. Now $10 million in state funding will go towards 12 projects in Syracuse's southwest neighborhood. Half a million dollars is going to Jubilee Homes. Other nonprofits getting funding include the Rescue Mission and Southwest Community Center. Some money will also be used to repurpose several historic buildings. Syracuse men's basketball is back on the hardwood tonight. The Orange will take on Louisville from the Cardinals Nest. SU is coming off a recent win against Boston College and they're looking to improve Improve their 9 and 5 record. Louisville is currently 2 and 12 on the season. Tip off is set for 7 on ESPNU.